Hey everybody, welcome to the Chris and Dan Show. Glad you could share a video with us today. Today, Dan's going to be reacting to Slaughter, Flight to the Angels. Uh, this wasn't recommended by anybody. This is just a song I like. Um, at the time when this came out, Guns N' Roses had just come out. So I was really just listening to this and Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. These two CDs was it for me. Funny thing about Slaughter, um, the name, it's the, it's the lead singer's last name. But boy, did everybody throw a fit over the name of this group, like all the parent organizations. Really? All these, these people, they want to slaughter things. And he, he was always like, it's my last name. You know, which, which problem? <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, it's his last name. So A great anyhow, wrestler. It, it was funny at the time uh, how everybody was always uh, upset about something. Eh, still that way today. They should have they teleported in 2022. Yeah, they hadn't seen nothing yet, huh? <laughs> Absolutely not. So here we go. Slaughter. Oh, hide hide the uh, women and children. Yeah, and Play the animals. Slaughter. And the animals. Here we go. Chris is one of his faves. Let's. It go. is. It's a great song. Hey, that jacket is like what Gardner Minshew was wearing yesterday. <laughs> and you see that? He had a great yeah. game, by the way. Yeah, Dan sent me a text of uh, this guy going through security at the stadium, I assume. It's not some guy. It's a legend. Not all no, heroes wear capes. Chris. Sure, sure. Gardner Minshew. Well, for those who don't follow football, uh, yeah. Uh, very interesting He's basically player. basically the everyday man who became a quarterback in the NFL. He kind of reminds me, I mean, hopefully I'm not offending anybody, but he kind of reminds me at least when he played with Jacksonville of, of like a seventies porn star with his mustache. And yeah. And now he's uh, on the Eagles and had pulled out a huge win yesterday Did he? Right. as a starter. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, that dude's amazing. That's he wore that exact jacket. He yeah. likes slaughter too. Probably. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Look at that. On the drums it says space for rent. That's so cool. <laughs> you see that? This space yeah. for rent. Not selling out at all. Not selling out. How do you say you're selling out without saying without saying you're selling? <laughs> that's a you do. That's awesome. Yeah, name the album stick it to you. Oh, uh, that's the name of the album? The name of the album stick it to you. Like it, like it.
<laughs> oh, still going. People hate when you <laughs> forget that last second. I like that the mom la- that jeans. Last note. I like the mom jeans. You know, they're coming back for girls, that is. Mom jeans? What are mom jeans? As somebody let Chris know what's mom jeans. Well, you let me know. What are you talking about? What does it sound like? Uh, jeans that a mom would wear. There we go. But I don't see where you're getting that from. If you don't wear. know, you don't know. You're not uh, you're not hip. Well, I wear those jeans, so that's why I'm wondering. Chris wears mom jeans. There you go. Gardner Minshew wears mom jeans, too. So they are coming back. I have no idea what you're talking about, mom jeans, when dudes are wearing them, but okay, whatever. Well, dudes are wearing them in the 80s, of- but Gardner Minshew wore them yesterday. I wear 80s. I wear them now. Yeah, so, Chris wears mom jeans. <laughs> well, I, I um, don't man. know where you got this expression. I've never heard it, so... Trust me, whatever. I, I wish I made it up, Chris. I'm not that funny. All right. Um, I would almost buy this, but not quite. It is the type of rock I like. Um, but I wouldn't buy it because it was missing something like to bind me to it. Yeah, like, I, I a little bit. I honestly didn't think you would you would buy this song uh, I, if i had to give it a grade it'd be like 8.5 yeah it's pretty uh, good I, I really like it it's one of my favorite rock songs from the from the late 80s i think this came out in like 88 89 right around like i said guns and roses when they came out yeah um, i liked a lot of it i just a little bit his voice towards the end was a little bit annoying like annoying the, ooh, oh you didn't like that <laughs> a little too feminine for me, but um, otherwise was pretty good. Yeah. Just a well, little, a little. Well, that that's definitely something from. Well, I don't. I wouldn't say just. I was going to say the eighties, but <clears throat> I think eighties and prior, where men tried to hit very high notes. Yeah, I mean, no, look at look smoothly. at Michael Jackson. Look at Michael Jackson. I mean, right? No, I like. It's not that. It just was missing something to like bind me to it. You know, like little bit of an affinity mm-hmm. I, just lacking a little oh you don't need to explain I, i'm right there with you like it's the like previous previous rap song i listened bit. to i mean i, I liked there you it go. there you go i liked it i just would i wouldn't buy it i might buy this one though but not not quite i wouldn't say i would okay but it's close it's close yeah. uh, again i didn't play it because i thought it would be a winner i just played it because i like it i wanted to oh, get it up there and review it react you to came, it you got close man you got close. So the prize money is still there. It's getting bigger by the minute. Uh, what's that? Like 150, something like that? Oh, no, it's more than that by now. Is it? Yeah. It's close to 200, I would say. Okay. Wow. Okay. Maybe not that high, but almost 200. All right. So you guys, you guys are, come on, guys. You're almost back in it. Very nice. Very nice. Let's so- go. Yeah, you got to got to comment, right? You got to comment. Got to let us know comment, subscribe. Here. Let us know more. This was good. Thumbs up or good too. This one was good, but not great. But uh, it, it could be could be great. Fair enough. Take care, everybody. 
Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.